relax, natural. Like your home, natural. I want it to be natural. Okay, when we are doing portraits, the first thing we want to do is looking for the whole compositions. It depends on how much you want to include, what you're going to include, and where you're going to set those uh, locations. Um, so I'm going to draw something really general. I may not be the composition that I want. So this is the, the face. I'm going to draw a little bit more. And it looks like the face is too big. Um, there's not always the same composition will satisfy you. You have to uh, experiment with that setting with the, uh, the sitters. It's very important uh, what you want to capture, what kind of mood that you want to include. So this is probably the face. Is In that case, I would divide that. The head would be take almost like a one third of the space on the top. And at this point, there's, not, there's no measurement. This is no um, proportion yet. So I'm going to see how the whole um, motion, the whole impression that I want to, that I want to capture. I think this looks a little bit better. And I'm going to use my eraser to clear something out from here, like this. So what I'm looking at right now is there is uh, the center line, the motion coming down right here. And then going toward this direction. So I'm going to include the shoulder over here coming up like this and the shoulder on this side. And that's probably the, the, um, uh, the overall shape that I want to, that I want to set. It's very much like that. So at the first step, it's very important to, to make sure that your feeling has been, has the input into the drawing. It's not just looking at the face, looking at the eye, looking at the nose. You want to see how the whole emotion it has been uh, created or captured. Okay, something like that. So your eyes only looking for the big connection, the big uh, motion like that. So the top could be over here like this. Okay, I think this is good. It have the motion going toward the right side of the corner of the paper. So this is good. Now, what the next I'm going to do, I'm going to see uh, the proportion and the, the angular uh, measurement and the start from the bigger uh, measurement. So, for example, now I defined it. This is the top. This is the chin right over here. What's the biggest relationship over here? And that would be from here, this is the high compared to the width. So you have to find the biggest connection. In this, in this case, I'm going to do a little measurement. I'm going to take the top and to the bottom of the chin, and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to see. Oh, they actually from the left side to the right side, the top to the bottom, and then it goes to uh, from the hair over here to this side of the side, the, the edge of the hair. I'm going to take this and rotate it. Why well, actually it's about correct uh, because the edge of the hair will be over here. So the, uh, the left side of the head is actually in the correct space. Uh, when you do that again and again, and then you will very easy to find uh, the way to, to, to correct it. Now, after I have the left and the right, now I'm going to looking for this probably the left side of the face. Okay, now on this side, it's coming through over here, the edge of the face coming down 
like over here. This is the angular measurement. So find the angle of each portion of the face, starting from uh, the bigger uh, bigger line, to go into a smaller line. About this angle, about like this, coming this way. Okay, this angle is about over here. Okay, now I'm looking for the top over here, and this angle is about the top over here. And also, I can extend this line coming up over here, just almost meeting this area. It's just a little bit wider, and coming down like this. There's another angle coming down over here. So you don't need to see all the curved lines. You can actually make that to be the all straight line. But before I go any further, I want to look for the vertical dividing line. And let me see, it's, I think it's very much right. And one third on the top, a little bit more than one third probably. I'm going to take that, a little bit more than one third. And actually interesting. From the bottom over here, I can divide into one third. But a one third is not just uh, the bottom of the nose. Over here, it actually the, uh, the bear. Uh, so the bottom of the nose should be here. That's from my measurement. And, and with that, the eyebrows is about in this location. You can draw the angular line, connect to the two sides, like this. And the nose over here, about in this location. We're gonna do a little bit more uh, double check with the uh, with a different part of the face. Okay, let's take a look. And let's take a look at this angle from here because we already know this is correct now. So I'm gonna have this looking for this angle coming down like this. Whether or not that this is correct. It may be coming down. Yeah, it's about, it's about this angle, coming like this. And this probably going a little bit more around it, coming back over here like this. Now this is good. Be a little patient and the step is very important. In order to do it in a relaxing way, you have to make it into the correct step. And let's take a look. And the, on the side of the nose, it's very much coming this angle. So I'm going to see if whether or not the nose is in the right area. Because looking for the nose over here and the side of the nose, the side of the face, it's about right location. And if you need to measure it, stop and measure it again. And this is about the right place for the nose. From here, from the corner of the nose, you can draw the line connect to the edge of the eye. It's about in this location. Like that. This could be the location for the eye. When you find the location of this eye, And you can cross over in the almost the similar angle of the eyebrows line. And this side, this are uh, the location for the other eye. Like that, that's good. Uh, knowing the nose over here, the bottom over here has different plane and going the top of the nose coming down like this and the bottom it turning this way uh, so it has shadow on here on this side from the bottom of the nose and to the chin the chin here have some dimension at the bottom over here let's take a look on this side now I can see there from the bottom of the nose to the chin and the lower border, almost the lower border of the lower lip of the mouth is almost a half of that. It's 
faster. Okay, find a location. And if you think, oh, you're kind of making it too easy, it's not exactly, it's supposed to be easy. And if you make yourself working too hard for a portrait, and that probably because uh, the process is not correct. So if you are a member already, please go with the simple exercise from the Enjoying Our Learning Center. If you're not a member yet, it's a good time to join us. We learn together. So this is the location, looks like for the mouth. And now I'm going to divide it into a little bit smaller. Uh, now let's see, from here to this side of the, of the face, it looks like it should be turned a little bit this way, coming down, look at the angle, and should be turning like this. I think turn too quick. And sometimes it's a good idea to align this with the top over here. Let me do a little alignment, vertical alignment. And if I have the this side of the face aligned to that, it's about a line over here. If I'm coming down like this, this is the alignment. So this is also a part of their angular measurement. So this line coming down here, that means it's going too quick. So I need to, from here, coming out a little bit. And going around this edge, the edge about this angle, and coming toward this side. So this is more like it. Oh, you have to move the nose and the mouth a little bit more to the left side. So everything is related to each other. Okay. Now take a look at, looking at the facial hair over here, you can almost draw a triangle, like this way. And this, I think, I'm going to relay that from the corner of the mouth, I draw the curve line coming down like this. And this is the curve line at the bottom over here, turning. So it's a continuously uh, checking and 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 fine-tuning so okay now the locations it looks good I think that's angle coming down a little bit lower like this and the ear is right over here now I'm gonna connect from the nose over here draw a little curve line a straight line from here to here is make sure this area Relate to the nose is in the right location. Like that. That's good. Now that's good. Now I'm going to have a star making other part and connect to the, to the, the, the area that you already established. And take a look at the angular direction of the neck on this edge. And then coming in a little bit, keep looking at the angle. Okay, now coming to this side, and look at the corner of the, the mouth relate to this line. This line probably here, like a vertical this direction. Okay, that's good. Uh, double check if the neck is not too wide. Okay, I think it's the right place. Okay, I'm gonna add other part. other area, give a little uh, simple indication. Okay, now I'm looking at the shoulder. Shoulder, if connected in here, is uh, about in this location. Connect to the outside here, like that. That means the, uh, the color over here should be a little bit lower, like that. Now looking on this side, looking at one shoulder is easy to connect to. The other side of the shoulder uh, is to be over here, like that. So after you get the 
the proportion and the connections correctly in the big part. When you draw the smaller details, and it's just so easy to connect it all together. Now that's good. And I have the hair coming on this side, on both sides of the face. Like this. Yeah, take a look. And this should be turning this angle. That's good. Coming down like this. Looking for this angle. Like that. So that's good. So the next thing we're going to develop into a little smaller shape, smaller details, and develop the connection between the background and the face. Uh, and that process can be really, really fast. Um, the important part is to set up the, the big connections properly, and then you can go into the smaller one. It's pretty easy. And then take a look at the corner of the eye. You can see that as a triangle to see whether or not the eyes are not too wide, it's not too close together, and that is important. Okay, I think we're doing good. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use uh, the wine charcoal to start doing some, um, feeling the big value, and look at this corner. It should not going out like that. It's coming in a little bit like this. Good. The head and the face over here, over here, and the whole neck a little bit darker. Now I'm not uh, looking into the smaller area to draw first. I want to see how the whole drawing. The whole spaces connect together. You may be feeling a little bit insecure. You kind of, oh, wait a minute. You blow everything out. How am I going to see all those lines? Those lines basically are already in your head. Um, you can find them and really should be easy. Okay. So I look on the face over here, I can blur most of the part out, except the, except the, the lightest area, probably on the cheek over here and a little bit on the nose over here. And the nose, and most part of the nose are a little bit darker, it's not that light. So you want to see the whole, how the co whole connection connect together. So now I'm going to use my finger as the blender. Okay, I'm squinting my eye so I can see the connection a little bit better. That's good. Now next I'm going to do, I'm going to use the compressed charcoal. I'm going to see and also create a little bit darker texture for the head. Like the top of the head over here, you don't have to make all the edges so clear. It's important. The edge doesn't need to be all that clear. Okay. 
look at the like on the, the side of the face over here kind of really detail so you don't have to make it uh, so clear to make like a, your own invention you the only invention you need to have is just uh, your own feeling input into the so now okay looking at the face over here now basically I develop a little bit darker area and I'm then and then I'm gonna come back to uh, define the light area and then go to the next step develop uh, the clear detail and the contrast I'm making sure every step I had that you develop the portrait it connect with your own feeling so the, doing the portrait in this process and I know it's like a everybody have their different little approach uh, for the portrait drawing uh, but uh, I focus a lot on how I feel starting from the feeling right from the beginning allow yourself to have the emotional input Okay. Now I'm going to start walking into uh, define the detail for the eye. But before I do that, I make sure I develop the whole shape, the little triangle over here, starting from the bigger shape and then going into the smaller smaller details versus the eye is part of the smaller details when you do painting your yeah, focus on the shape is more and more crucial more crucial than uh, when you do the drawing because everything they do it should be a very clear to you that bigger shape than smaller shape And you will know the eye is rounded, so make sure you have enough indication for the roundness. Okay. We go from the bigger shape, it was also general. The general shape to a little bit more specific. I don't want to make it all look too dark. Uh, on the side over here, the nose, give a little indication, and the bottom over here, make sure I have enough of uh, suggestions for the form. This, the bottom over here, is make sure it looks like a turning coming down like this so the shape is very important now I'm looking at the mouth it looks like the mouth can be a little bit lower so it's a little bit sometimes a little here difference is just create a different impression And if you're looking at the shorter version, uh, just because this is a public version of the video, if you want to see the full version, please come in to join us. Okay, okay shade it like that. And there's another shape under the lower lip. Just the head. Back a little. Okay, no. Don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 
when you develop the smaller details and the overall uh, form is still very important. It actually always important. Uh, so it's making sure you you notice how uh, the face turn, uh, the motion and the connection with that. You keep looking at how the face turning over. Now, based on the big shape that you already developed, and it's very easy to indicate the smaller shape inside the big shape. And also very easy to find those smaller shapes. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little accessory. Now I come down over here, give a little a bit, uh, add, we don't have to make a very detailed line, but making sure I have enough suggestions for what you try to indicate. It doesn't really need a lot of details. Coming to this side, so as you see, everything I do is shaped. I don't have to connect it. This is actually a shirt or a neck that you know how the form look like that you need to focus on the value, the composition, the shape, uh, all those uh, elements for the visual art. Now this is good. I already applied enough value in here. The next thing I'm going to do to come in to do some cleanup adjustment. Okay, make sure the head show enough that moving forward uh, from the left to the right. Even though the material is very soft, cannot really see too clearly, but you still try to create some uh, impression. They're moving forward like this. Now I'm going to use my um, eraser. Now I'm going to start doing some adjustment. Like say, coming down over here, the forehead over here I have a little bit lighter. And I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Just keep looking at the value and the connections. And over here, it has some lighter much lighter over here. Uh, coming down here, I have a highlight on the tip of the nose. And coming to the uh, cheek, I'm going to create a little light over here. Okay. On this side, I'm going to expand it a little bit more. Lift up. When you use the needle eraser, make sure that you would constantly stretching. So uh, to get make it keep it functional. Yes, that's good. 
Now on the mouth over here, there's a little bit lighter. Yep, that's good. So those are adjustments. After you apply the color, you do the adjustment. And now looking at inside the eye over here and the eyelid, a little bit lighter. Okay, now on the lower eyelid, also some over here a little bit like that too. And look at the other side. Uh, we don't have to make it too clear. When you have two eyes in the picture, you have to uh, adjust and balance the relationship between the two eyes. This eye a little bit closer to us and have a little bit more clear. Uh, so near the other side, you don't have to make it the same uh, degree of clearness, clarity. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to finishing up the with the the final touch. So I'm going to come back to the medium uh, charcoal pencil. Let's see. The eye, start over here. And this is the time to spend the attention to the smaller detail. But it's not always. And sometimes you can keep your attention always on the, the big relationship. Yeah, need to clear up a little bit. Like that, that's good. A little reflected light over here, so I'll make it a little bit lighter. That's just good. Okay, almost there. Look at this side, this side, that's good. Corner. If there's no line in the area, you don't have to add the line. And sometimes it's better to keep it open. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a, a couple. Separate from the hair to the face. smaller highlight on the hair, you can define that how the hair curve. You don't have to overdo it, just a couple places, it's just fine.